Can you imagine the future? What might be? What could be? Way beyond 10, 15, 20 years. Imagination is a wonderful thing. Being entrepreneurial, it's about having imagination. Absolutely. And using that to imagine a vision of the future, maybe more than one vision of the future, and then leading the march to get to that vision, to achieve that vision. I love working with uh, people who've been in and around the film industry. Yeah. They're fantastic at sort of imagining futures, future towns, future cities, future events. And I just love that imagination. It brings out things you hadn't thought of. That's it, thinking differently about Absolutely. things. It's not just thinking big, it's thinking differently. They say outside the box. Just, you know, imagine something that hasn't happened yet. Imagine something that might not exist in the future. What might replace it? Imagine healthcare being what wasn't once an operation is now, I don't know, a magic trick. Hoverboards from Back to the Future. Whoever knew they would be a, be a reality right now. And what fun. Exactly. I often think in three words. And the first of those is a hindsight. You know, so often we just look to the past in our classes. Sometimes we have insight where the learners bring new things to the class, and that's lovely. But foresight, imagining the future, actually stretching forward, that's the best fun you can have in a classroom mm. of all. And you can relate that to any topic. There was an amazing experiment done, 1969. Edward Blishen asked the simplest of questions to children across the UK. Mm -hmm. What school would you like? Write down the school I'd like. He created a vision from 1969 of the education children wanted, the learner voice. Redone in 2011, they created a children's manifesto of the school that those children wanted. Hundreds of thousands of children from across the UK. A children's manifesto, a powerful vision from children of what they saw their education could be. It's their assignment, their project. It's their thinking that makes that happen, not the teachers. Absolutely. It's individual to them and it can be presented in any way. Storyboard, prose, text, drama, video, anything. 